This is a walk around on one of our 1250 350 tanks. We have it labeled with our logo. Here it says the 1250 350 gallons, so it holds 1600 gallons total. It's three feet maximum burial depth and 300 pounds per square foot, uh, square foot of live load. Um, the tank has three inlets, one on the side, one down the middle, and one on the other side as well. We label our tanks with inlet and outlet so we have, they're installed correctly. This is a mid-seam tank. So there's two C pieces, C-shaped pieces, that are put together with a butyl rubber that goes in between that makes it nice and tight for a watertight connection. We use 5,000 pound uh, PSI concrete. And here, we use four inch rubber boots. So on this one, it's a four inch boot. You cut this out, you slide your pipe into it, and then there's a stainless steel clamp that goes over this and you tighten it. And that gives you a nice watertight connection, similar to a manhole connection. Um, on this particular tank, we set in one piece, so we drill a weep hole at the bottom of the tank. And what this weep hole does is allow water uh, to leave the tank uh, while it's sitting here in our yard, because we put them together here in our yard and they sit here. In case water comes into the tank, you have to have the uh, water leave the tank uh, by a weep hole. If not, during these cold winter months, it freezes and it would crack the tank. So that's why we put a weep hole. And then before it goes out to the client, we take a water plug and we fill it in and make sure it's watertight before it goes off onto the truck. Here you can see we have three outlets. Uh, one down the middle, again, that's labeled. And we have an outlet on this side and an outlet on the other side. As you can see on this tank, there's a three inch difference between the inlet and outlet of the tank. And that's for uh, allowing the liquid to go from one side of the tank to the other side of the tank because it allows pitch. Um, most states require at least a two inch uh, pitch difference and we're doing three on our tanks. On top of a two compartment tank, we have three covers to gain access. We have one cover for the inlet, one cover next to the baffle wall or partition wall, and that's also where you have a baffle, a uh, plastic baffle, and the last cover is for your outlet where you may have a filter or a pump system. We removed both covers on the outlet side of the tank to show you the baffle as well as the outlet compartment. And you can see we have a baffle installed between the first and second compartment and that is used to separate the scum and solids and keeping that in the first compartment while grabbing clear liquid going into the second compartment. Uh, the top of our first compartment tank typically has scum and the bottom of it has solids. So you take 40% of liquid level and that's how far your baffle goes into uh, the tank compartment. Here we have, um, we haven't cut it out because this tank is not installed yet, but this baffle gets uh, rubber, gets pulled out and gets cut out and you slide a four inch pipe into it and you clamp it like we showed earlier. If you come over onto this side, you can see that T that we installed just comes through the baffle wall and gets clamped there and the water will dribble from one side of the tank to the second compartment. And the theory behind that is you'll have a lot less solids before it goes off to your leach field. In the last compartment, it also is where you'd either put a pump system if you need to pump it up or if you need to add a filter, this is to be the compartment your filter would be located in typically.